everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 26 of Mountain Blade Warband, and I have been going all over the place, and finally I went to Ravadin to find a ransom broker. Again, I had to cheese the save and load save, so I go north, well, I went east, uh, west first towards Sargoth, nobody there. Went to Kura. I, this is the. I, I think this is the fourth city I visit or tried fourth attempt before I finally found a ransom broker. And looters are not worth much at all. We have third, four of them, thirty-two. We will sell all. So that's a hundred bucks. Uh, Vigor archers. Ooh, I think we should run more into those guys. I think they're from a deserter band. Uh, Taiga Bandits 104. Uh, C Ray. Oh, we have 12 of the. C oh, nice, nice, nice. Yes. Okay. Uh, there is a traveler here, a mercenary, wandering minstrel. Let's talk to the innkeeper. Uh, anything San, Sanjar Khan is all looking for mercenaries to fight in his wars oh Sanjar Khan is from the Kyrgyz Asuga Noyan over in Tilbout Castle may need rescue in prison family member you know I should go check what it takes uh, has already asking around for someone who might want work I'd watch myself over him I've heard Guildmaster over in Tulga has put together a bounty for some band. Oh no, no, forget it. Tulga, that I think that is Kyrgyz territory. Uh, Guildmaster Ikamur, same. Uh, Guildmaster Inara, same. These are all from the Kyrgyz country. Uh, we were we tried to go there and we saw how fast uh, their. Uh, Bandits are uh, no choice, no chance. I mean, uh, it's like, yeah, sure, we might, we might want to kill, uh, to to go there and. Oh, we have sold everything. Okay, um, so we're continuing to grind for dinars, <laughs> grinding for dinars. Okay, uh, so at least we ditch. We we have uh, room now for uh, more prisoners. And uh, before we do that, I think uh, we might have leveled up. Uh, Borcha, let's talk to him. Uh, tell me what... Yes, he has indeed uh, leveled up. Borcha, what are we trying to use him for? Uh, I think he needs one more power strike. Uh, he has two athletics, uh, two riding, uh, three tracking. Uh, one weapons master so we'll give him one power strike in the next one they will give him another uh, so so he's tracking I don't know how to use tracking yet so Borcha is our scout right so he's got four pathfinding four spotting uh, I think let's just uh, give him more power strike Uh, so that means we need to level up his strength and then we can level up his oh he doesn't have any power draw okay he'll be a melee guy then okay uh, does he have a pole arms he has pole arms uh, power draw so we need to level up his maybe not the power strike maybe the weapon master so that uh, okay, let's just go to strength first, and then uh, weapon master allows his proficiencies. Weapon master make it easier to learn weapon proficiencies and increases the proficiency limits as from 60, 100, 140. So at level two, is at the hundred, right? I don't know. A uh, sixty. 100, 140, 180, 220, 260, 300, 340, 380, 420. A total of 10. Oh, 10. Okay. If, okay, let's, 
he, he needs to be at 2 so he can get it at to at least 100 okay he's maxed out uh, let's put it in 200 okay let's see your equipment he has a horse okay everybody has I think everybody has except Jeremus right uh, okay never mind uh, how about oh Bahestur Bahestur let's talk to him uh, let us see your skills okay I think we need to get him up to 12 agility uh, and then we can increase his power draw uh, I think I think yes let's just check it out oh he, he still cannot get power draw huh why what does power draw entail maybe strength also uh, he can't do maybe we can increase his weapons mastery right uh, how about his horse archery yeah let's increase his horse archery horse archery reduces dam uh, produces damage and accuracy penalties for archery and throwing from horseback yeah we have him riding so you know what uh yeah he's our horse archer okay uh oh maybe we need to make him more proficient first okay let us reset this still 12 archery uh but then instead of that we go to weapon mastery because it's 60 100 140 and 180 done okay Jeremus has not moved Swedian footman is being paid eight bucks if we upgrade them to Sweden men at arms uh, they're being paid 20 bucks uh, 30 bucks so that's 22 I counted yeah that's like uh, 150 so we're talking about one fifteen hundred twenty five fifteen twenty but I think we'll be we will be moving at a faster still the only guy here then without a horse would be Jeremus right uh, let's check on his skills does he have any riding oh he has two riding also okay oh yeah that is interesting let's give him a horse uh you know what what i wanted to see is at the next uh payroll uh how much would our uh rivachag uh die works uh pay us and if it's good enough then uh we can move up the swadian footmen to all so now we will be an all cavalry kind of deal uh, but I think it's still good to get Jeremus a, uh, I think, a horse. Uh, let me see your equipment. Uh, what kind of horse do we have that we can give him? This is a saddle horse, a, sa a stubborn saddle horse. Let's just give him a saddle horse. Yeah, but then he cannot wear his shield. Yeah, he cannot wear his shield. Uh, it will be covering his back, though. So that means uh, the problem is he cannot, a crossbow cannot be reloaded from horseback, right? Ah, okay. Sorry, Jeremus. Yeah. No, no. Let's give him this. 
uh, this one will will be guarding his butt so at least we are now an all horse kind of uh, troop this is level 40 what is his 38 okay uh, I'm trying to find legalits he is the guy that should uh, that has a high training skill starting skill but we still haven't found him uh, anyway uh, okay so we will be a fast moving horse now okay uh, never mind okay and a return uh, and then let's check ourselves I thought I believe yeah we leveled up so we can increase our strength to 12 and that will give us better power maybe uh, or should we continue moving on charisma uh, cannot be developed beyond one third of intelligence which is a trainer skill tracking tactics pathfinding uh, wound treatment surgery engineering and persuasion how about uh, here okay what we want is our charisma to go up to 15 because we want prisoner management uh, leadership okay that's the one we have to move up on so it'll be a while uh, right now power throw power draw we don't have power draw yet uh, maybe we can do some trade we have not done any trade at all persuasion uh, engineer uh, spotting we don't need that uh, tracking looting horse archery uh, I think we'll hold off on that one or no 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 uh, I think yeah I think let us get our strength up let's see what happens if we get our strength up uh, weapon master is still not open to us huh and writing is not open to us I guess that's based on agility then huh okay I guess we will just have to go to with charisma because we want to increase our prisoner management and our no I mean yeah in charisma yeah hold on uh, reset just making sure in charisma it's prison management and leadership and we need to get our leadership to five so that we can improve our our army size okay let's just put charisma and charisma also increases our party size limit by one and then let's just wait I think we can invest stuff into archery that's a long term or oh, maybe how about 200 two-handed so that uh, our lance we can work with lance or something I don't know <laughs> I really don't know what we want and these guys are from Kyrgyz, huh? Wow, we can actually take these guys on if we want. This has been looted. Kingdom of Vagars. Oh, so the Kyrgyz have taken over this town. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I did not even realize that. The Vegas are 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 suffering then. Okay, uh, hmm. Wow, 
that is indeed very enlightening okay let me uh, let us save this wow so the kurgits are very powerful so uh See, the problem is, if we get involved, I know we can, like, these two guys, we can take them on, but uh, if we are in a constant fight, how do we pay for our army? I don't think, uh, as a warrior, I think as a mercenary, like, Meruga, the Count Meruga gave us, like, 30 dinars to deliver a letter, 300 dinars to do an assassination attempt. So if, uh, as a mercenary, they might not pay us anything at all. This is a caravan of, oh, Kingdom of the Vagars, huh? So we cannot we cannot fulfill our quest here as long as the uh, city is considered looted. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, Ravenin is gone. Let's see if we can. Who are these guys? Yeah, sadly, we cannot attack them. Oh, they are going to attack this caravan, huh? Who's this guy? Wow, they are not this. Wow. Farmers. Boy, these farmers are. And if we save this, so hopefully we will spot something in this direction. Manhunters. Hold on. Farmers, farmers, who's this guy? This can't be, yeah, Tundra Bandits. Okay, what are these? Farmers, farm, 13, 5.2. This guys, we can chase them. Oh, what's this? Wow. They are fast. What's our speed? 6.2, yes. Sorry, bub, we got ya. Charge the enemy. Everyone, move in orders. Charge. Uh, reserves, move in orders. Follow me. Serenade. No, don't kill them. Jeez. Wow. Wow. Come on. Take prisoners. Take prisoners. One knocked unconscious. Two knocked unconscious. Wow. <laughs> Capture all, you know, these are the good stuff. Let's move them up. And let's take everything. 121 dinars. So we're still continuing to grind away. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, time to save this. Save as uh, 
<sighs> I am excited to join the wars. Uh, I can't wait to join the wars. But the thing is, if we don't have the base to feed our army, uh, <laughs> there's not... Our, there's not much fighting we can do just by our lonesome. In fact, we are terrible as I'm terrible as far as uh, fighting is concerned. Who's this guy? Ooh, Tundra Bandits. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone, movement orders, charge, reserves, movement orders, follow me. See, I'm waiting for the village Ayike to become uh, other than being looted so that. No, don't kill them. Come on, these guys. Wow, they're all killed. Come on, don't kill them. We want prisoners. One unconscious. Give me more. One more. At least one more. No. Oh. Fifty seven dinars. Okay, uh, save this. Yeah, so if you guys ever try this game and they ask you, do you want to play it under realistic mode? Never press that button. Never do that. This is not, for me, this is not an easy game. And the realistic mode is for somebody who is really good at this. Yes, C Raiders, yes. Hold on, what's your speed? 5.1. Okay, we'll go with C Raiders. 28. We're at 6. I will break from your sky. Charge the enemy. Everyone, movement. Charge. Uh, reserves. Movement orders. Uh, follow me. No, killed by Saradin horsemen again. Uh, killed by Saradin horsemen. Three. Four, five, six. Okay, slave trade. Two, three.
Okay. Yes, we got six wounded. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Capture all. Okay. Okay. Anybody grievously injured? We're still at 56 or... Okay, so we have 13 to go, huh? I mean, yeah, we can... Sorry, Mamelukes. Uh, if we upgrade all of these... Yeah. Ooh, nice. I think we have a good 2017-12. We, do we have enough room? Uh, might not have enough room. Okay, uh, I guess this would be a good place to uh, cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Uh, yeah, let me go through this inventory and maybe we're close to... Uh, the city of Rabichag and we will just go there and hopefully there is a ransom broker and the very least is we can sell all our stuff over there okay uh, thank you guys for joining me I hope you'll join me in the next episode bye